Praise the Lord, people. Finally, the great white cloud has come. Kingdom age has begun. Matthew 24, Jesus said, Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is still away? And he foretold Elijah restoring all things. So now the master stands upon the great white cloud in Matthew 24. The kingdom has come. The word of God has reopened. Daniel 12, 9. It had to, for it was his kingdom age covenant message of the new everlasting covenant, the kingdom age covenant, clearly understood as it is written in Jeremiah 31. As, uh, so that Israel now inherits all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, which is proof that I got it right. And upon that great white cloud of Revelation 14, he is now sending forth me as his everlasting gospel writer. Uh, I have built the latter-day mountain of Isaiah 2, Micah 4, Isaiah 25. Uh, I am the strong and mighty one, line by line, precept upon precept. I have been reading the everlasting gospel and built 2,500 pages of videos, or 2,500 videos of my readings uh, in less, well, one year, about one year. So praise God, I'm the arrow to Christ on the white horseman as he goes out fighting against the red, the black, and the speckled, the disease, death. It can all be overcome if we will just stand together like it is written in, uh, at the Tower of Babel. God said if we stand together, there is nothing that we cannot overcome. He is the overcomer of overcomers. He is the victor in all victory, and we are his children. Let us follow the way of peace, love, and hope, which is all the same thing, encompassed in, his un in the understanding that he has loved us ever so much, so much so that his love has always truly been unconditional. And we've based all of our realities on his unconditional love. And that is why this world is getting spiraling into oblivion of Zephaniah 1, 1, where there would be no more man, no more birds, no more fish people. That did not happen the first time.